Hey guys, it's Lexi, or some of you know me as Fat Girl Fed Up. So today, I hit my first goal weight of 220 pounds. You know, when I started losing weight of 485 pounds, I wanted a weight that didn't seem forever away. So I kind of stayed away from setting it in the 100 pounds just because that was so far from 485 pounds. So today, I hit my first goal weight. So to celebrate, I'm doing something I haven't done before. I am going to try, well I've done it before, but I am going to try on my wedding dress for the first time since I got married. And when I got married, it was a size 34. So I'm basically going to be probably swimming in it, but I'm so excited. Okay, so I want to show you guys our wedding album so you can kind of see where we started. That way you'll kind of understand more once I do put on my dress. So this is me and my husband, Danny. This is me on my wedding day. I don't really regret, you know, being that size on my wedding day. I'm happy with all the love and all the people that we were able to spend on that day. Lots of tears. So here's the dress, it was really pretty and it was really beaded and fluffy and I just wanted to feel like a princess and thankfully, you know, even being a size 34, I was able to do that. So yeah, this is where I started. This was October of 2015 is when we got married. Size 34 wedding dress and I now am wearing a size 14. So. I'm pretty sure I probably will be swimming in my dress, but let me see if I can find a picture of Danny and I together. Um, let's see. So yeah, there's my wonderful husband and I. So it is time to try on my wedding dress. All right, so Danny is going to get down the wedding dress for the first time and since I think it's up there. October 2015 is when I got married. Does it look like it's up there? Yeah. Yay! All right, Danny, hold up the dress. You guys can see all the prettiness of my wedding dress. It's so beautiful. You got my hand in it. <laughs> I got your voice in it, too. My grandma doesn't want to be recorded. Look, size 34. Hold on. 34. It's beautiful. Hold it up in the air. Show how long it is. I think it's going to be a little big, guys. Yeah? Oh my god. How are those boobs? <laughs> So we are going to try on the dress. Well, come here. I probably don't even need to undress to try this thing on. Probably just slide right into it. Okay, so I am swimming in my wedding dress. Um, it's almost falling off of me. Thank God for straps because I don't even I don't even know. Like it's all the way out here doesn't want to stay up very well. I don't know. I, I don't even I don't even know what to say. So I don't know if you can see. Ow. I don't know. Can you tell how oh yeah we also had to add this. <sighs> Whenever we went and we bought this dress, we had to make two trips out of town to buy the dress. People weren't very nice to me because I was plus size and it was really hard for me to find a dress. And we looked, I don't even know for how long, um, a while. And we ended up having to buy a dress off the rack because we couldn't find one in my size. I don't regret anything about my wedding. It was beautiful. I had everyone I loved there. And I don't regret losing the weight after my wedding. And I loved my dress. It's just, it's a little big now. <laughs> Dance all over. I could probably even fold it. So. so. That's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. Ah! Look how much, like, out it goes. How? That's crazy. <laughs> like, I have so much room in here.
Like wow. before, we that didn't even know it... if it was going to zip. I had to put my hands in the air for this thing to zip. That's crazy. Look Remember? at the I side. I had to wait for this thing to even fit. Like, wow. I think I lost 20 pounds to even fit in this dress. Hold it out in the belly area. <laughs> like it was tight. Jeez. Oh my God. <laughs> you can like fold it. I probably wear like eight of these. You can make two dresses. That's crazy. Here, come here. Turn around. To fit you right now, you could take the yeah. right two. Like it won't even. Wow. That's crazy. I can fold it. <laughs> 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 so I just want to talk about a little bit more about my feelings wedding dress shopping um we went to some pretty popular stores um to look at dresses that sell all kinds of different sizes and specialize in wedding dress shopping you would think that they would carry higher than a size I think the highest size was a 26 in the store which isn't fair because you know, people come in all different shapes and sizes and they should carry other options for people who are overweight. Like anyways, so I went into a few places. I asked what the highest size they carried was. And obviously, you know, I got a lot of judgmental looks. People weren't very nice. You know, they made some comments or they just looked at me like, why would you even try to shop here? And that's not fair because, you know, it's your wedding day. You're supposed to feel beautiful. Buying a wedding dress is something that is so important as a woman to be able to feel beautiful looking for your dress and to have all the people you care about there to support you to do that, not for them to see you go through the pain of not being able to wear any dress that you want on your wedding day. So don't let somebody make you feel less than you are just because of your size. And like I said, I felt beautiful on my wedding dress or my wedding day in this beautiful dress no matter what size size 34 or you know size 24 so always love yourself no matter what and be happy for how far you've come all right guys just tried on my wedding dress and i could fit easily somebody else in that dress with me and it wouldn't even stay up you know it was falling down and before when i had it the day of my wedding i just prayed that it would zip and i held i put my arms up against the wall and had my family zip me up in my dress and now i'm swimming in it now i can fit two people in it like how far i've come and to lose 268 pounds and to reach my goal weight today of 220 my first goal weight it's just, there's no words like I'm just so happy and I'm just so happy that I decided to change my life and take care of my health and basically save my life and I'm never going back to that I'm not so thank you guys for following me thank you for watching you can find me on Instagram it's fat girl fed up or Facebook and I started a blog to document all of my summer adventures. It's fatgirlfedup.com. So like, subscribe, tell me what you want to see. I'm here for you guys, here to answer any questions and help you along your journey. Thanks.